All right. Uh, the OpenXR Toolkit has the new foveated uh, rendering, fixed fovea foveated rendering now. Uh, I'm sure most of you know it's pretty easy to work with, but some of the settings kind of uh, hard to understand. I'm going to uh, kind of run through some setup on it. First, let's get a little push back out of the way here. And we're going to see something. Anyway, so uh, I found a manual online that explained some things. I say everybody's going to be a little bit different on how they set it up, but it does really make a difference. Actually, it's active right now, but I'm going to tweak on it a little bit. Dude, I didn't know you were standing right there. Oh. <laughs> Guy here where we can see a little something. So it's a great little tool. It, coupled with the uh, update eight, we're gaining some major performance in uh, virtual reality. I run a uh, i ninety nine hundred. Running at 4.8 gig, water cooled, uh, 32 on the RAM, and I'm uh, running a 2080 Ti. Okay. So, <clears throat> the way this works, oops, I gotta grab my keyboard here. It's real simple. Some of the settings, you know, are, are there that, you know, it's kind of hard to understand. But anyway, you bring up uh, Control F2 and then Control F2 cycles down through it. <coughs> so we come down and we go Control F2 and just roll right through it. So what I read, well, I, at first I tried the preset there. And I had it both in quality and performance. And I would notice when I'd look left on the horizon, I'd get a little bitty black line. Mine wasn't very bad. It was quite livable. But, it, you know, you would see it, notice it, and it caused you to look that direction. So I found out that if you... Uh, there we go. If you uh, go to custom and then come in and set it up this way. So basically from what I understand there are three circles. They're not they're not necessarily circles, they're like uh, kind of oblong Let's see. Kind of oblong. So anyway, <clears throat> the inner ring is basically untouchable. Uh, so the center of your view is going to be what you see is what you get. Then the first ring uh, allows you to drop resolution and then the outer ring lets you drop resolution so right where your eyeball is looking right in the middle you're going to get uh, I assume sharper because the other is is less resolution so if we take the inner ring 
and run it down. We'll just jack it all the way down. As you can see at the bottom, okay, that's the scale. Now you can see it start to degrade. So that's the the inner ring, and you can see it's just all degraded. Okay. So we're going to run that. Get back to it. So F3 runs it to the right. F1 will run it back. So I'm going to jack it back down. You can see it's starting to clear up in the middle. So if I let the menu go away, I'll try to pan around here where we can kind of get an idea how. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, wherever I look, the middle is clear, and then the outer is degraded, lower resolution. So that's allowing this middle to sharpen up, which now I can, you know, read the uh, letters a little better, which you can see, okay? So let's go back into it, and we'll keep increasing the ring size. I had it about 90. I was just trying to figure out how it worked, and <clears throat> basically I had to go get the manual. And then we'll get into the resolutions here next. Okay, so, as you can see at about 70, you know, it really starts going away. Get back to it. So if I run it, okay, so there's 56. I can see it pretty good, pronounced. So, yeah. If I run that up. You can kind of slightly see it. I'll let go of the menu. You can see just a tinge of it on the very outer edge. I'm not sure how much of this is capturing on the OBS, but if I and look around, I see just a little bit of of it on the outer edges of things. And when the avionics is up, you can you'll see it a lot better. But that's not too bad right there. So the higher the the number, the more the center view you have. So if we back that down, again, see that starting to take effect down there. And then uh, I keep hitting F2. Sorry about that. I'm doing this in VR. All right, so then if I run it up and say get to, and see that right there is almost livable. So I'm going to set it at 65. Okay, so let's see what the outer ring does. If you jack it down, it makes that anomalous look a lot less defined. But then once you hit 62, as you see, it takes the top one down because you can't cross those two. So what we want to do is go back and set that up. And then we can come back here and take that up. I'll run it all the way up max. And you can really see it taking effect now. So I'm going to run that down and we'll give it somewhere 70 maybe. Start off, see how it does. Yeah, a little more. 65. Okay. So now let's go to the resolutions. <clears throat> so, from what I understand, 
here are our choices. There's half, one quarter, one eight, one sixteen. Cool. That disables it. Okay. That's kind of where your ring is, I, I would assume. So then we're going to reverse it. So that middle resolution, the half, quarter, and an eighth, that's going to be the, the, the difference between quality and performance. So half is quality. That's the highest setting you can get. Uh, and then if you want to degrade it more, that's performance. So well, let me back up. This is quality, and this is low quality. This is performance, and this is low performance, which would be <clears throat> basically you're going to get uh, – more performance, I should say. So you got two quality settings and two performance settings. The higher the setting, you know, the higher the resolution will be. The lower the setting, the more towards performance you will get. I hope that's making sense. So anyway, uh, what I'll do is check that up for quality, and then we'll come down here to the outer, and I can take that and go right there and then now that should overall give me better quality because the visuals look fine let me let the menu disappear All right. so I don't see much anomalies going on so I'm getting you know, nice and smooth panning and everything it's a nice and sharp image so that's a really really nice tool yeah, so there's one more I have not read on yet. Uh, this anamorphic. I'm not sure what it's really giving us. Let's see. Okay, so it's letting you, okay, so that's going to let you adjust the pixel. Okay, all right, so I don't want that. All right, so that's uh, what I've learned so far on it, and each each one's going to be a little different, your your system and all that, and uh, it's, it's quite, uh, quite a neat little tool to have. So I'm going to get out and play around, and I'm here at Phoenix. I'm going to take the uh, citation up and just goof off and... Kind of watch how it does and might make a tweak or two on that. Yeah, hope, hope that helped somebody, and uh, we'll see you on the next video.